What's up guys, it's Wesley and today I am at Bowling's newest training facility, B3 Performance, to give you guys a brand new ball review. Stay tuned. Today, I'll be reviewing Motive's Trident Nemesis for you guys, and I'm not doing it alone. I have a longtime friend, good buddy, really good bowler. You guys might know him. It's Cortez Shane. Come here, Cortez. What's up? What's up, everybody? How are you? Uh, I don't know how they're doing, but I'm assuming great. We're going to review the brand new Trident Nemesis. Let us give you some details about the bowling ball. So the Trident Nemesis uses a Sidewinder weight block, Infusion HV Pearl Reactive cover stock. It comes out of box at 5,500 grit, and the RG and differential for 15 pounds is 2.52 and 0.049 with an intermediate diff of 0.013. Cortez, you're the guest. How did you lay out your trying nemesis? You know, uh, when I get a brand new ball, I usually just like to do my standard pinup layout. It's about five inches off my axis. Uh, I just put it on everything I like that's shiny, that needs to get down the lane, and just a good standard layout for me. I, I like it. That's what, usually what I do, but the one that I'm going to be reviewing is a little different. Bowling on the PBA Tour, I've built a bunch of bowling balls, and I decided to drill this one Rico. I wanted it to be a little smoother. I wanted it to roll a little more. I didn't want it to flip as hard as the ball should actually probably be intended and used for. So mine's gonna be a little different. Rico layout, favorite layout for Cortez. Let's go throw some shots on, what's his pattern? Stone Street. He laid it out, he works here. He's gonna work here for the rest <laughs> of his life. <laughs> Hi guys, so here's our review so far on the Tri Nemesis. I'll go first. My Tri Nemesis would probably be a little better when the lanes are broken down. As you can see, there were some shots that didn't get through the pocket. It didn't drive as hard. They're not as dry as we thought they were. It's not really a house shot here. It's like modified sport, whatever you want to think of it. But it would be perfect when the lanes are broken down in games three, four, or you know, if I would have put a little more surface on it, I think this ball would have been perfect. But it still got to the pocket really well and it still struck whenever I threw some really good shots. Tez, what do you think about this? Yeah, this is definitely a ball I'll be throwing later in the block on a tournament. Um, it's clean, it bangs down lane. Um, there was a couple shots where I rung 10, so I just you know, went a couple, couple in with my feet, to try to slow it down, get the ball pick up a little sooner, but again, the oil, try to bend the lane a little more. Yeah. And it was really good. I get, I get my ball to split the 8 9. It was, it was really good. The ball was awesome. Okay, great. Yeah, and I, I 247 on one, but I think I hit it a little too hard into the friction. It overhooked, unfortunate, whatever. It's not like I was bowling for score, but that's. My thoughts of the balls. Tez, you got anything else or are you good? Let's throw some more shots. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's throw some more shots. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Tez, for coming and bowling with me. Thank you, B3 Performance. Make sure to check them out. They're in Tempe, Arizona. Tez, you got anything to say? 
Uh, yeah, thanks Wesley for you know having me a part of this ball video. It was a lot of fun. I tried Nemesis. It's a good ball. I mean, shelf feels great. It looks cool. I like the uh, Trident logo. Looks like a Maserati <laughs> logo. So I know it's a great, it's a great ball. Um, you know, bangs down lane. And thanks for having me out. Very welcome. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, do whatever the YouTube people say. Whatever you want to do. But thank you guys for watching. Peace. We'll see you another time.